Oh, who say does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart? Underway, that was Skylar Cole singing the Star Spangled Banner. Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Glad to have you along. In this game, we'll see the Utah Jazz against the Houston Rockets. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. Here are the starters for Houston. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. And it's Shangoon in at the five. And for the Jazz, Collins and Kessler playing up front. Clarkson the two, and Markkinen is the three. And it's Sexton in at the one. And it's always fun to watch the next generation of basketball, RJ. The youth movement is certainly on for both of these teams. Man, it's so great to see the young guys get some experience. The more playing time they get, the more comfortable they become. This is going to be a really good game. Here we go. And it's going to be the Jazz off the tip. Pass to Kessler. Shoots over Shingun. Kessler with a bucket. And that gets us rolling. Ooh, what a tremendous atmosphere in here tonight. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner. But we'll just have to see. Here's Green. After the basket by Utah. He can't get it to go. Clarkson with the defensive effort. And here are the Jazz. Marketing the pass to Sexton. Pass to Kessler. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Sexton. Let's it go from deep. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. I mean, Sexton can shoot from anywhere. Strong from beyond the arc. Some players just have an innate knack for scoring the ball, Grant. Jordan Clarkson, definitely one of them. Man, absolutely, B.A. That jump shot has to be honored. And because of that, he's able to get inside and create for himself and others. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Collins. Back to Kessler. Pass to Clarkson. Here's the floater. There's the block. And they're able to recover. Collins passes to Markkinen. No good from outside. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. Back to Smith. And here's Brooks. And here's Smith. Shangun, a screen on Sexton. For three, Smith. Clarkson grabs a miss. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. And the Jazz with possession here. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Sexton with it. And Fleet covering. Marking it outside. There's the triple. Here's Kessler. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. Kessler's got his second basket of the night. And right away, he's going to work on the boards, just fighting for every rebound. A really good start for him overall. He's already having a big impact on this game. Now, here's Green. Shangun, a screen on Clarkson. Green against Clarkson. Picked by Smith. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. Offensive rebound. 
Three-pointer, Brooks. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And he's much more comfortable shooting off a pass. Brooks with a nice shot. Clarkson against Green. And it's Clarkson missing. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Kessler passes to Sexton. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Clarkson. That shot missing. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Houston has gone two for four from range to start things off. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively, long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. Rebound, Utah. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Here's Collins. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Grant, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A., in two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. Now, here's Green, still without a bucket. And another miss by Houston. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first. Collins with a screen on green. Clarkson passes to Collins. Gordon Tucker on the wing. He buries it from three. <laughs> nice awareness there from the big man Collins. Solid at finding his teammates when they're open. Pass to green. Now Smith. Utah with the rebound. Kessler's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Horton Tucker. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for two. They knocks down the first one. And the Rockets making a change here. Falls, so he hits both of them. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter here. Now here's Thompson, defended by Horton Tucker. Thompson goes in from the paint. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Jazz leading by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. We've got Laurie Markkinen. Taylor Horton Tucker is out there with Kelly Olynyk, and it's Hendricks in at the power forward. That's the group for Utah, getting going in the second. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Utah leading. Horton Tucker, the pass to Markkinen. Olenek with the ball. And 
Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. Now here's Thompson. Still no points. Inside, Shingu. And Shingu throw it down. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. Here's Markkinen. Pass to Hendricks. Markkinen outside. Here's Hendricks. Over Green. Uses the glass that time. It's good. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Now here's Thompson. Here's Bullock. Here's the three. Abaji with a rebound. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. The Rockets trail. Here's Thompson. No good there with a step back, Jay. The Jazz have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Olenek with a screen on green. Pass to Horton Tucker. It's picked off. Tipped away. Here's Shangun. Rebound by Olenek. So it's Utah now. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Green covering. Olenek passes to Markkinen. Three-pointer. Rockets with a rebound. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the Rockets have a promising roster of developing talent. Kevin Porter Jr. said our team is filled with young guys, and we are filled with fire. We want to get better, and we want to be the best. I think that all of us working together is a big part of our chemistry and our growth. Brian? Yeah, nothing like learning from the vets. There's a lot of knowledge there. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Horton Tucker. He's got five. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Laurie Markkinen. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Timeout call. Houston. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. The Rockets have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Outside. Green. The three is up. Green's feeling it at the arc. Green. For Jalen Green to be an all-star level guy, he's got to knock down those threes. Richard, taking a look at Jalen Green's career so far, he's certainly not bashful shooting the ball. No, and I think it's because his coaches and teammates want him to be confident, B.A., because once he gets a few to fall, man, this man becomes very dangerous. Six on the shot clock. Clarkson with a screen on Smith. Here's Collins. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Houston has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. A clear look for Green. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. You can tell Green likes to move quickly. He gets that ball and he's taking the shot in just a few seconds. On the wing, Clarkson. There's 49 seconds left in the second. Good work there as it goes. He's got a knack for those putbacks, so you have to be aware of that defensively. Get a body on him. Now Brooks. Eason a screen on Clarkson. Here's Brooks. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Brooks has got five now. A throwback wing. Dylan Brooks is very comfortable working down low. Clarkson passes to Collins. Back to Clarkson. 
24 seconds left in the second quarter. Collins finds Clarkson. Come get it, come get it. Collins with a screen on Brooks. And it's Clarkson missing. Outside, Green. Here's Smith. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. A sometimes underrated playmaker, Green showing good patience and vision. Clarkson with the ball. And that's not going to go. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Rockets ahead. Up four. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Rockets. Four-point game. Taking a look at the Rockets. Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. And it's Shangoon in at the five down low. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. And Richard, this summer, the Rockets hitting fast forward on their rebuild, signing some key veterans. Headlined by all-star point guard Fred Van Vliet. He was a coveted free agent. Listen, if their upcoming draft pick not under their control, I think the front office figure may as well go after wins now. Here's Green. The Jazz making their last shot. And there's the foul. It's on Colin Sexton. That's his first foul. First team foul. Green against Clarkson. Smith outside. Man lead on the wing. Five to shoot. Green, the pass to Smith. A deep three. And it's Green missing. Utah trailing here. Outside Sexton. Pass to Kessler. Second chance shot. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Smith passes to Van Vliet. Stolen by Collins. Van Vliet against Markkinen. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. <laughs> a gifted score. You know, this team trusts Markkinen's shot selection and offensive initiative. Green against Clarkson. Green, the pass to Van Vliet. Draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Kessler. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Fred Van Vliet. Two shots. Good free throw good from Van Vliet. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing his guys. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Down low. And it's going to be a three-second call. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. 
He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Fred Van Vliet went from undrafted to an NBA All-Star. He said, quote, individually, there's still a lot left I want to get done. But trying to chase that next championship is what I'm locked in on. That feeling trumps anything I've ever done in my life. Besides my kids, that's right up there as far as personal journeys and accomplishments. Brian? He's got it in the right order. Thanks, Allie. Yeah, moving the ball with a purpose. Lowry marking it. <laughs> nice pass. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Pass to Shangun. The three is up. Utah with the rebound. And here's Clarkson. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Kessler a screen. And Clarkson, here we go. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Jalen Green. And what intensity from Clarkson on the drive. Forcing the defense into making mistakes in foul. Gordon Tucker, he's checked in for Utah. And a change for the Rockets. Eason's checked in. And he makes both free throws. And at this stage of his career, Clarkson really knows his role. A highly effective scorer who looks to decimate defenses. Now, here's Green. Give him eight points now. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Outside, Horton Tucker. Pass to Kessler. Fires for three. And no good. Houston has gone one of four here in the third from range. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Goes up on the wing. And again, it's Houston. Green has been locked in, really powering this offense. For Utah, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Sexton against Van Vliet. Pass to Clarkson. Fires from deep. Second shot opportunity. Up again. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there. Couldn't get it to go. Smith finds Brooks. Stolen by Collins. Oh, Brooks with the steal. 58 seconds left in the third. That one goes in. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Now here's Horton Tucker. Five points in the game. Pass to Kessler. I see you. Outside Sexton. Outside Horton Tucker. Clock at six. Clarkson passes to Horton Tucker. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Horton Tucker's got seven points. And nice work by Clarkson picking up the wide open guy. He scans the floor and sees the opportunity. Outside, green. Charity stripe shot. Utah with the rebound. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Here's Clarkson. Count that bucket. And now just a three-point rocket lead. You got to bring more fire than that to stop Clarkson. He's a pro at fending off tight defense. Pulls it from the top of the key. Buries the jump shot. Van Vliet's got four points now in the quarter. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. But over and back. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Rockets ahead. Up by five. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. And for the defense, it's so tough to guard a big man with that kind of court vision and dime dropping ability. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. They've got Taylor Horton Tucker, Lori Markinen out there with Kelly Olenek, and it's Hendricks in at the four. That's the group for Utah right now. And that one's good. Markinen. Well within Markinen's range. Lowry is so comfortable with his jump. Now here's Thompson, defended by Horton Tucker. Screen by Eason. Thompson passes to Eason. Plenty of daylight on that shot. And the Rockets lead by five. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Outside Olenek. Pass to Markkinen. Over Shingun. Again, Utah. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Shangun, no good. Utah shooting around 41%. Markin in left side. Outside Horton Tucker. Just five to shoot to tie it up. Marketing misses. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Eason pass to Thompson. He shoots a three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Taylor Horton Tucker. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Rockets. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, I mean, credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. And he sinks the second. Well, Grant, Amin Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. Not perfect, but that opens this up to a two-possession lead. And lead against Sexton. Market it inside. Good work defensively by Brooks. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. Leading by five. Thompson against Clarkson. Smith with a screen on Clarkson. Here's Thompson. Driving inside. Tough to slow Thompson down when he's got a lane to the rim like that. For Utah, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Outside Sexton. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. No good there. Good work defensively by Brooks. And the Rockets shooting the ball at 48% so far. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. Count it. And you gotta love the focus there by Smith Jr. Instead of just taking the foul, he focuses on the way through and finishes and gets the end. Jalen Green, he's checked in for Thompson. And that one misses. For the Jazz, this one not looking good. Pass to Kessler. Collins outside. Beyond the arc. They get it back. Great positioning on the putback. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Here's Van Vliet. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter here. Shang Goon, no good. Utah's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Sexton against Van Vliet. Sexton passes to Markin. Collins a screen. Shoots from the line. Ooh, excellent.
excellent D there from Smith. The Rockets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Shangun. Over Markkinen. And there's Shangun on the assist by Van Vliet. And the Rockets lead by nine. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Utah calls timeout. They're down by nine. A minute 22 left to play in the fourth quarter. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Will Hardy said to the team. He stressed with his guys how important defense is at this point of the game, saying, quote, it's got to come down to stops, fellas. We know how good our offense is. Now I need you to communicate and D up out there. And Allie, thank you for that. Now here's Markkinen. Looking to end this cold spell. A show of force by Markkinen to get through. Being Markin is seven feet tall, he's absolutely an inside threat. I just love watching him capitalize from this area. And that one's good for Brooks. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Rockets. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently. And a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too and propelling them to a solid win. It was a night of big plays for Jalen Green. And let's just say this, the name of the game is scoring, and yes, he provided that tonight. You're welcome. The open shot, Van Vliet. A quick shot there, it's off target. All alone from mid-range. You gotta think he's kicking himself. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Count that one. And now it's a 12 point rocket lead. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. Market and misses. Now here's Green. takes this one by a big margin. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Dylan Brooks.